Thanks for tuning in. Today we'll be making three Indonesian condiments, two sambals and sweet soy sauce called ketchup manis. Hi, I'm Tuan and welcome to my kitchen. If you're new to this channel, I focus on cooking foods from my home country, the Netherlands, and some of its former colonies such as Indonesia. Whenever I make an Indonesian dish, oftentimes there is either sambal ulek or ketchup manis in it. I can find them around here rather easily, but several people asked me if I can show them how to make these from scratch. So that's what we're doing today. As a bonus, I'm also making sambal batjak, a sambal that I don't often cook with, but I use at the table all the time. Earlier today, I sterilized glass jars because that's what I'll be storing the sambal in. We're gonna get started by making sambal ulek. Ulek means to grind and sambal means chili sauce. So this really means a ground chili sauce. It is nice and spicy and is very versatile. Let's take a look at the ingredients. You will need 325 grams of red chili peppers. I'm using red finger hot chilies, but you can use cayenne pepper or any uh, hot red pepper that you prefer and five grams of salt. I have washed my chilies and now I'm going to just give them a rough chop. I'm going to cut off the stem and the shoulders, which is basically this little green tip. And now after cutting them, I'm going to put them straight in the bowl of my food processor. There is no need to de-seed uh, this. So funny story, when I was dating my now wife, then girlfriend, uh, she came to visit me in the Netherlands. And one day I was cooking and I had a jar of sambal ulek and I was putting it in whatever it is I was cooking. And she's like, what is it? So I put a spoon in there. I don't think it was that full, but she keeps saying it was very full. I handed it to her and said, taste it, try it. She did. She wasn't so happy and I'm very lucky that she continued dating me because that was probably a little mean without giving her some warning. Now, I can eat a spoonful of sambal without a problem, but she wasn't conditioned for that yet. No need to cut this really small. The food processor is going to do all the hard work. If you want to do this the traditional way, you actually use a mortar and pestle and the salt right away. But when you use a food processor, you do the chilies without the salt and you mix the salt through later. I'm wearing gloves because these peppers are really spicy and I don't want to accidentally rub my eyes later and burn them. So that's why I'm wearing gloves. I'm now going to pulse it until it turns into a nice puree. So don't do what I do, and what I did, and hang over it, because it's quite pungent. I'm going to scrape it down to make sure everything gets pureed evenly. We're almost there. All right, that's it. I'm gonna just scrape everything out of the lid. I'm going to transfer everything from the food processor to this glass bowl. And that's where I'm going to mix the salt through. So let me put the blade in the sink. Look at that color, it's so beautiful. I'm going to add my salt and then stir it through. There are many sambal recipes out there, but sambal ulek is considered one of the base ones, uh, the starting point for many of the others. I actually like it on a peanut butter sandwich, just a little bit, gives a little kick. Okay, I'm going to cover this with some saran wrap, let it sit at room temperature for a little bit before I jar it. Next we'll be making ketchup manis. Ketchup means soy sauce and manis means sweet. For this, you will need 125 milliliters of soy sauce, 125 grams of palm sugar or gula jawa. If you cannot find it, you can use light brown sugar. I've shaved the palm sugar because it comes in a brick and this way it will dissolve easier later on. Two teaspoons of lemon zest, two slices of galangal that you've smashed, two garlic cloves that you've smashed, 
one slice of ginger, smashed, and one star anise. I'm going to start by zesting the lemon. I need two teaspoons. I don't know if one lemon is gonna be enough. We'll measure when I'm done. So I'm just gonna zest all of it. Oh, this smells so good. Definitely a welcome smell after making the sambal ulek. One, that's actually two teaspoons, so perfect. One lemon. We're going to start by adding the soy sauce and the palm sugar in a saucepan. Over medium and low heat, we are going to warm up the soy sauce until all the sugar dissolves and then we're gonna add the aromatics. The finer you shave the sugar, the easier it um, dissolves, of course. I guess I had a couple of pieces that were still a little thicker, but we're getting pretty close to having all of it dissolved. All the palm sugar is dissolved, so now we're going to add the lemon zest, the smashed ginger and galangal, the smashed garlic cloves, and the star anise. Now I'm going to bring it to a boil. And once it boils, I'm gonna move it over to the smallest burner I have and let it simmer over the lowest heat possible until the soy sauce turns the consistency of maple syrup. So we're getting pretty close to a boil. I can see the little bubbles coming up. So just a little bit longer. So my simmer burner is in the back of the stove and I don't have a good camera angle for it. So you're not gonna be able to see it but once it is the right consistency, I'll show you how to check and make sure that you reach the right point. We'll see you when we're there. If you're enjoying this video, please click the like and subscribe button. It will really help our channel. If you want YouTube to notify you whenever we post a new video, click the bell. Now that the sambal ulek has had some time to sit and marinate, I'm going to put it in my glass jar. Don't make a mess like I am. Put the seal on, twist it shut, and now we just store it in the fridge. The ketchup manas is done simmering and it has the right consistency. Just stir it so that there is some of it on the back of your spoon, run your finger through it, and when the line stays, you know it's the right consistency. Now I'm going to remove the anise, garlic, and galangal. Oh, and the ginger also, of course. Now. This burns very easily, so you have to pay attention to it. Stay with it, don't just walk away when it's on the simmer burner. So let me go get everything ready. I have a bottle that is going to be too big, <laughs> that's okay. And we're gonna pour it through a sieve. I was worried I was gonna make a mess, but I guess I'm not. I only have an eight ounce bottle, which is way too large. Of course, you can very easily triple this recipe and then it will fill an eight ounce bottle easily. So put the lid on and store it in the fridge. Last, we'll be making sambal bajak. Bajak means pirate. And the reason it's called pirate sambal is because it is a cooked sambal that gets canned. And this makes it keep for a long time. So when they're on sea for several months, they can use this for the entire time. To make sambal bachak, you will need 325 grams of chili peppers, five shallots, five garlic cloves, 10 macadamia nuts, three teaspoons of lemon zest, 15 grams of gula jawa, 75 milliliters of oil, three slices of galangal, two bay leaves, eight grams of salt, and one stalk of lemongrass. I have peeled my shallots and I'm now going to give them a rough chop and put them in the bowl of the food processor. I'm gonna put my gloves on and then I'm gonna chop the chilies. We're gonna do the same thing like we did for the sambal ulek. Cut off the stem and the shoulder and now just cut this into chunks. Some people don't like their sambals to be overly spicy so you can either just remove the ribs and the seeds or you can replace a third or half of the chili peppers with just red bell peppers instead, as long as the total weight is 325 grams. I'm going to smash the garlic. Now I'm going to rough chop my macadamia nuts and add it all to the food processor as well. The 
the sugar and now all I have to do is zest the lemon. Since for the sambal ulek, one lemon gave me two teaspoons and I need three teaspoons right now. I'm going to zest two lemons. Okay, let's give it a quick measure. One, two, and three teaspoons in the food processor. Let me clean this up and then we'll start processing it. I've moved my food processor over so you can see everything that's in there. Now I'm going to put the lid on there and pulse it until it's the same consistency as the sambal ulek was. Gonna scrape down the sides. And continue. Okay, I'm going to transfer this to a bowl and then we'll move on to the next step. Next, I'm going to bruise my lemongrass so that I can put a knot in it. Like that. It smells so good. And next, I'm going to bash my slices of galangal. Let's go over to the stove. I recommend that you turn on your fan and if you, ha if you can open your windows because once we add the chili to the oil, it's gonna put all those pungent fumes in the air. So we're gonna add the oil, the bay leaves, lemongrass, and galangal. And we're gonna heat that up over medium high heat until the oil is nice and warm. Keep uh, stirring it around so that nothing sticks to the bottom or burns. So right now it smells very citrusy from the lemongrass and the galangal, but once we add the chili peppers, that is going to change. Okay, the oil is hot. You can see everything is starting to sizzle and bubble. So now I'm gonna put my heat at medium and add the chili peppers. and keep stirring it. So we're gonna keep stirring this. I'm gonna turn off the flame, remove the lemongrass. I'm gonna leave everything else in and then we're gonna put it in a jar. I'm gonna scrape off any sambal that is stuck to here, best as I can. Now some people actually put this in a jar as well. I don't like it that way, um, but I do like the galangal and the bay leaves in there. I feel they kind of keep adding flavor, so. Okay, now we're gonna put it in a jar. Make sure you do this while the sambal is still hot. And put it in the jar. Just pack it in there. So I'm gonna do it like that. Put on the seal. Twist this. I have a little bit more left, so I'm gonna put it in a second jar. Add the seal, close the lid, and now we have to let this cool off completely before we can taste them. It's the next day, we've let uh, all the sambal and ketchup sit in the fridge overnight, and now it's time to try them. So I'm gonna start with the sambal ulek. It just smells like chili peppers. You can, you can tell it's spicy. So we're gonna try just a little bit on some rice. It's smakelijk. Mm. That's spicy for sure. It's got great flavor. The peppers have this nice fruity kind of flavor, but the heat is right away. This is not one of those things where it builds at the end. It's right at the front of the bite. It is, it is good, but you know, I wouldn't eat a spoon just for the sake of it. But it is nice and spicy, and I am looking forward to start cooking with this. Okay, next we're gonna try the pirate sambal, or sambal bajak. 
This smells way more complex than the Sambal Ulek. You can smell the citrus from the galango and the lemongrass. Of course, the shallots in there uh, change the overall aroma. You can tell the difference in color, right? The bright red um, Sambal Ulek and more of an orangey color because of the shallots of this. And I know it's gonna be a little bit less spicy than the Sambal Ulek, but we're gonna give this a try as well with some rice. If I can. <laughs> mm. This is so good. It just has that punginess of the onion is there. The heat of the chilies comes a little bit after the fact. It is definitely milder than the sambal ulek, but it is pungent from those onions. I think I could have cooked this a little bit longer to, to mellow out the shallow punchiness, but it's still very good. All right, last, we are going to try the ketchup manas. This one turned very thick in the fridge, actually. I probably should have taken out a little bit earlier. Lekker langzaam. Sweet, salty, you have that hint of anise in there. I really like this. And honestly, sometimes for uh, a quick snack, I will just add a little ketchup, uh, manis, and either one of these sambals to some rice and eat that. Absolutely delicious. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like and subscribe button and don't forget to share it with your friends. If you have any questions or would like to share your sambal recipe, you can do that in the comments below. I will post a written recipe for all three of these on my website, twanskitchen.com, and you can follow me on social media as well. If you make any of these, I would love to see a picture of it posted on Instagram with the hashtag twanskitchen. I will share it in my story and on my website. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.